Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and uh, Aries Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17th to December 23rd 2018 and once again while I'm doing the shuffling I uh, want to remind you that that will be a general reading for Aries star sign and uh, for that reason he's going to resonate in a different level for each one of us so that being said uh, I will do my best here to explain the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread once again but at the end uh, it will require a little bit of your effort you know to align those cards into your situation and to make sense of it now if you want your situation to be just like the examples of this video or your situation to be something that I'm drawing cards for that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing so these are the four tarot cards for your uh, week Aries and this is going to be an enhanced tarot spread so we're going to draw additional card for every single spread and we're going to do an elemental dignities analysis so uh, just for an overview here now that will be the topic we have the core of the situation then it is the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last one that is going to be the guidance wise so what we do have here, it is a, a triversion or a reverse from finding yourself in a misfortune, misplaced situation into taking on it and uh, making your progress toward, let's say, relative success. So let's see what we have here, I mean to dive deeper into the meanings of the cards. Five of Cups into a, a topic of your... Um, of your week accompanied with uh, the Queen of Pentacles here it does point that you are to start uh, kind of uh, for the lack of better terms I'm going to say salvage but salvage not in its uh, literal sense of the word where you have to basically cut your losses all right but more like gathering up all, all of the resources that you do have because these couple of cards they synergize very well here and that kind of combination here um, looks like you are to realize uh, which things in your uh, current situations either love love wise or a or a career wise you are doing wrong and how you can better capitalize on the um, on the means and the resources that you do possess just to give you an example here uh, maybe you're not feeling uh, for example, you know, you're not feeling well into your relationship and you may realize that you are giving way too much freedom into your partner to do whatever they want, disregarding your emotional state. You know, that is just an example again. However, these cards here are pointing that you are to realize where the cracks, you know, into... Um, into your undertakings are and what truly sabot sabotages your work either career-wise or either relationship-wise and take the necessary steps forth eh, in order to kind of fill up those cracks and really make one solid hole for yourself furthermore the queen of pentacles here adds additional color a, a positive color into the five of cups pointing is a pointing that you are as well to discover that there are much more uh, for the lack of better terms, I will say options available that you currently were um, overlooking. They they are there for you, alright? It's not like they're going to miraculously appear like something new. They are currently presenting. It is just for one or another, or another reason until 17th you are overlooking them. And now at 17, realizing, you know, uh, for yourself what, why things aren't working out, you know, or realizing that you do, that you are capable to achieve so much more uh, comes on the platter here. You're realizing that and now you are starting or you are to start making the um, appropriate actions in order to capitalize on these uh, 
quote-unquote new phone, new found options available, which were there for you back in the past, but for some, again, or another reason, you are ignorant for them. Nonetheless, with these couple of cards, I can only say here, it is that this time around, Aries is slowly but steady, hey, a small improvement, or let's say you are uh, redirecting yourself and setting yourself on the right track is to take place in December 17 to December 23rd. The next card here that is going to be the core of the situation and Seven of Cups really speaks for its own with the uh, King of Cups falling into that specific position. So what we do have here guys it is the uh, how can I place it the unrealistic goal uh, in that case it's not really a goal but unrealistic means or um, I don't know exactly the English word one second um, to put my thoughts in a straight line here um, I will say it like this the uh, the celluloid method you thought that you will be able to push your things through now coming into this week December 17th to December 23rd there are two ways how this thing can play out it could either you may discover that things are much simpler than you thought they are you know and that you are just way too much overthinking your situations and you're throwing in a, a wrong direction so many means while if you, while you know if you just you can look the things outside of the box here and be a little bit more grounded and a little bit more efficient with your resources, either time, money, you know, attention, and etc., etc., uh, a much greater result can be established. Or these cards here could point that you, that you kind of like underestimated, you know, the. Um, the performance that one should have incorporated either into their career or either into their relationship and then a, a much bigger effort and toils has to be placed behind uh, the um, the undertaking that one is trying to push forth either way it's uh, where you start stirring yourself on the right track as I said the king of cups here it is uh, showing I could say the professional behavior where one is um, completely ready and not even uh, not even ready but let's say humble to admit that uh, maybe you know there is something off with what they thought before and that there is something um, something off with their current perceptions as well and understanding and they are ready to uh, to make the necessary adjustments the necessary changes uh, into their behavior or into their approach in order to make the things much more easier into oneself so what we are seeing again it is one unyielding stand uh, it is a, a breaking down of one unyielding standpoint here to um, to taking a position that you may think that you know everything or uh, your way of doing thing it is the most accurate and mandatory way taking under consideration again different options available now the third card here it is the king of swords and that will be the challenges which are causing predicaments one more card that is going to be the queen of cups and that will be a person that you have to overcome having two uh, court cards into one place so what that person po uh, is uh, is doing is that they're completely I don't know how exactly they're going to fit in your life but these are people uh, with that combination you know these are people who are entirely selfish without they even knowing it I mean uh, th these are people who are doing a thing all right which is completely disregarding your emotional state and your position as well and at the same time they're not seeing anything wrong with it it's not like they're doing it on purpose it's not like they're premeditating that specific uh um, that specific approach but uh, for one or another reason what they're doing is going to obstruct or cause predicaments to you in order to overcome uh, one more thing I want to say about that kind of a person is that they don't care about uh, a, um, someone else's dramas and dilemmas they don't care about their own dramas and dilemmas I mean what they're doing is for the greater good all right they only thing that they care is how the machine works and everything 
apart from that machine, I mean the grand scheme of things here, everything that it is not a part of that machine, it is something that they will not uh, spend any attention upon. So it, what I'm trying to say here is, is that if they don't see a reason for you to be around them or if they don't see how you're gonna benefit them in any way then they will completely disregard again your emotional state and your um, <clears throat> your as well financial and any kind of state that you may adopt throughout that week and that could be as well one reason to realize that you have to adopt a, a different strategies here stirring into the right path and examine new options available <clears throat> for either establishing new project or be generally you know rebuilding back your relationship life or stirring your relationship forth the last card that we do have this is going to be the six of wands which is the guidance and six of wands generally speaks to success it does speaks to collecting fruits of one's labor it does as well speaks to uh how can i place a, a recognition and a help is coming around so just from that card i could say that whoever offers you a, a help and whoever recognizes you know your efforts in order to improve your current circumstances here and especially your acknowledgement that maybe there is a, a better way to approach one situation from the way that you have thought previously that you are to approach it you should take them under your hood and as well you know with cooperation further either your relationship or friendships or whatever you're trying to do throughout that week uh, moving on forward and uh, the additional card into it that is going to be the tree of swords <clears throat> So we are definitely talking about help here because this card uh, in condition with the Six of Swords it does point to establishing a, a successful defense and that defense cannot happen by just one person. Additionally to these cards uh, they are pointing the through, meaning, through performing into something meaningful to realizing the real truth back in the past all right, where you may kind of did a um, again made some mistakes along the way recognizing and correcting those mistakes are going to definitely bring you victory here so we do have a reassurance for you uh, Aries is that should you not be unyielding about your standpoints and you do recognize where you did things wrong you know and you do allow yourself to examine new options available so you can rearrange your strategies then things uh, and you don't stink, stick, uh, stink, excuse me, stick anymore to uh, a celluloid performances or expectations or a goals for that matter, then a success is definitely guaranteed to you. Now, this success is not going to be an ultimate one. That is very important to be said. This is just a, a glimpse of understanding here that you are to reach on an important milestone where the uh, ultimate job is far from over, but is going to be a, a decent and significant progress, one or couple of steps further toward your ultimate goal so that was the uh, tarot reading now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and uh, they are going to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to <clears throat> or for one or another reason uh, you should try to uh, avoid all right so what we do have, this is going to be the cross, and the cross is associated with um, suffering, with torment, with depression as well, and with, with sorrow and these kind of stuff. Now the next one, this is going to be the coffin, and the coffin is associated with ending, uh, <clears throat> with generally it's with ending and starting or a one era end so just from these couple of cards what we do have is sorrowing sorrow suffering uh, feeling despondent and etc etc it is ending throughout that specific week and it is when ending why the sun card the sun is associated with great success with great amounts of luck with uh, basically uh, being able to make a, a huge progress just like we said here however once again the tarot is saying that this progress cannot be done unless you don't recognize your personal mistakes that you have done along the uh, along the way because no matter how much we're trying to deny it, 
as a personality. You know, if one thing falls apart, especially a relationship, it is always both people's uh, mistake or it is always both people's fault. To a different extent, yes, but always both has a, a certain amount of uh, guilt there. Anyway, so uh, all in all, this was the uh, general Tarot and Lenormand reading for you Aries for uh, December 17th to December 23rd. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Aries and it's going to resonate to a, a different extent and on a different level for every single one of you. If you want, however, a personal reading where we are to discuss your personal situation and, and draw cards for it, specifically for it, then uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for such you can check out the website down below written in the description of this video and there we can uh, and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing rat signing out now see you next time bye